Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have three fall decor DIYs for you to share. Uh, I love everything. I got everything either from the Dollar Tree or the Dollarama. And one item I actually did more of a trash to treasure. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, I would love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button and also give it a big thumbs up just to help to support my channel. And also if you could hit that bell button, that way you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's begin the tutorial. For the first DIY, I'm just taking these wooden crates that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue the two crates together, just making sure that both of the lines match up on each box. And then I didn't really show you guys, but I'm just taking my deco art white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree, or sorry, Dollarama, and uh, just gave it two coats of paint. And now I'm just taking these clear wall stickers from the Doll Dollar Tree. And I loved the one that had the blessed and thankful uh, stickers on it. So right now I'm just taking the thankful sticker and placing it directly in the center of the crates. And then after, I'm just going to take the foliage from the love sign as well and just put them on both sides. And if you wanted to make it more permanent, you could add Mod Podge as well. But uh, again, with the stickers, they are pretty, you know, they are sticky enough and uh, they do the trick. Now just taking one of the floral foams from the Dollar Tree, I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces in order to fit into the crate. Now it does make quite a mess and it is pretty d challenging to cut so use a steak knife or something to help uh, ease through. Now I'm just taking my uh, desktop vacuum to clean up all the excess fibers from the floral foam because it did make a bit of a mess. <laughs> and I'm just going to hot glue the pieces into the center of the box just to help to seal them in place. And that way the floral won't uh, move around when you start putting them in and placing everything. Now I'm taking those foam pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. They are clips, but they come off fairly easily off the clips as well since they are foam. And what I'm going to do is just reattach them to some uh, skewers, wooden or bamboo skewers, and then that way they can act as picks in the floral arrangement. So I'm just using my pliers just to cut off any excess of the steak just to make sure that it's the right length. And then literally I'm just going, placing the skewer right in the hole that it was, uh, where it was attached to the clip. So very easy to do. So now I'm just going to take all these lovely flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just love every single one of them. They are so realistic to me and they are beautiful. So again, I'm just taking my pliers and I'm just going to cut off quite a few of them uh, to make them a little bit smaller in order to fit properly in the basket. Oh, and you got to see Jackson just walking by in the background. <laughs> He's helping me out. <laughs> And remember, you know, all these beautiful flowers at the Dollar Tree, you can make any color you want. So whatever goes better with your home decor as well, you can paint the crates, you can stain them a wood color, uh, you can add more of the white flowers, you name it. It's your artwork, so you can do whatever you like. So you'll see the results in just a moment. <laughs> Moving on to the second DIY, I'm just taking this love sign that I made at Valentine's. Now I didn't have a YouTube channel then, so I didn't make a video of how I made that, but I just used three um, wood signs from the Dollarama and I just basically hot glued and E6000 them all together and painted it over. So now I'm just going to 
what I did was I just went over the black love letters in two coats of white paint just to hide that and I'm just going to take these wooden letters that I got from the Dollar Tree and spell it out the word pumpkin patch and you guys might have seen I spelt a mistake I had a little spelling mistake there without putting another p in there but anyway I corrected that at the end <laughs> so I'm just giving each letter a coat of black paint and in order to get them to dry faster I'm just going to take my blow dryer and speed up the process So now I'm going to try and create some pumpkins. So I actually bought these burlap sheets last year at the Dollarama. I hope they have some more again this year. We'll wait and see. Um, anyway, so I had a pumpkin cookie cutter from last year and I'm just going to use that to trace out three pumpkins. And after the fact, I probably should have used a brown marker to do this. However, I use an orange marker, but you will not see it in the end anyway with what I'm going to do. So I got this burnt umber acrylic paint from the Dollar uh, Dollarama, and I just want to paint the stems of the pumpkins just to make them stand out a little bit more. And then after that, I'm actually going to add a little bit more uh, definition and detail to the pumpkins just to make them look like they um, are a little bit more round in the centers as well. Now, I mean, I love doing the burlap pumpkins like this, uh, but I am still on the lookout at the Dollar Tree. I know they have those wooden pumpkins, uh, you know, those paint your own wooden pumpkins with little holes in it so you can add on to a garland or something like that. So I'm, I'm still keeping my eye open. I hope you guys will find them if uh, you know, you're in luck as well, but I'm hoping soon enough that they will come out so I can use those as well. <laughs> And so now with the sign, I've already hot glued the word pumpkin patch onto the side and I'm just going to create a black arrow using my ruler and a Sharpie marker. And now just taking my hot glue gun, I'm just going to place the pumpkins on the sign and uh, just doing the little circular motions there just helps to ensure that there's no big um, patch of glue coming through the burlap pumpkin. <laughs> And then I'm going to take either the black or orange gingham ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree. I love both of them, uh, but I thought the orange would make it stand out just a little bit more, give a little bit more pop of color. So I'm just going to create a simple bow and glue it to each of the pumpkins. And then just go ahead and fold each of the end of the ribbons in half and cut them on a diagonal just to give them that nice finish to the end of the ribbon. Now this is optional and I don't know if I maybe should have done it in the end, but whatever, it is what it is and I'm super happy with it and I still love it. Uh, I just decided to give it a little bit more of a dry brush with the burnt umber as well, just to make it look a little bit more rustic and weathered looking as well. So let me know what you what your thoughts on this is. <laughs> but here it is all finished. I thought it was super, super cute and it was something that I already had on hand and I just repurposed it and made it look like it was for this season rather than Valentine's. Who would have thought it was a Valentine's DIY. <laughs>
And last DIY or more uh, <laughs> redoing the frame. So I've already showed you guys the calendar and the frame in a previous DIY. And this one I'm just keeping the frame black because I feel like it's going to go really well with this autumn print, um, the one that I'm getting from the calendar. So again, I just did the same thing with the back of the frame and I added a layer of black paint around the edge of the board in that way uh, you can't tell that the calendar picture is small than the frame. Now I'm just taking some more of these beautiful floral arrangements and I'm just going to add them to the top left corner of the frame and then afterwards I'm also going to add some of these um, the beautiful pomegranates that I found as well at the Dollar Tree. And oh my gosh, guys, check out their fall eucalyptus. It is beautiful red and they had a green one and they had more of a, um, like almost like a burnt green, like, you know, being in the sun too long, if you know what I mean, like a faded green. Uh, anyway, beautiful colors. I'll probably show you in a haul video the ones I'm talking about. And I'm just going to hot glue a couple of those into the floral arrangements as well. So here it is all finished and again I'm just using one of those picture stands from the Dollar Tree so I just think it's so beautiful and very versatile and you you can easily take those flowers off again because it is just hot glue and I love these calendar pictures I love every single one of them and these can come out again every year in my opinion <laughs> so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed these three DIY tutorials I had so much fun making them these are my first fall DIYs of the season and I'm super excited to make a whole bunch more and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell button to be notified every single time I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.